Hi, today I will show you how to move character project files received from TunaRig to another project. First, let's open the TunaRig project and check the completed character rigging files. In the test scene, you can see that your character is loaded with blueprint state. If you want to test out your MetaHuman control rig, create a level sequence. Placing a character blueprint into a level sequence automatically activates the MetaHuman control rig. This project works without problems because all metahuman information about the skeletal mesh of the head and body, including DNA, is connected to each other correctly. But what happens if you move these character files into your project? Let's forcefully move Unreal character-related files to another project. The project I'm currently testing is the MetaHuman template project provided by Epic Games. Likewise, your project must have a basic MetaHuman template and common settings through Quixel Bridge, just like the basic MetaHuman template. All right, just copied into the MetaHuman folder of another project. Now let's open a new project and see if it works properly. It looks like there is no problem with the blueprint. However, if you look for the skeletal bone of the body, skeletal mesh, you will see that there is no response. Moreover, the preview of the files next to it is erased and they are not recognized properly. In these case, you must redefine the your skeletal bone as the default metahuman skeletal bone. Now, this skeletal mesh can find the correct skeleton. Now redefine the skeleton for the three items, Anim Blueprint, Pose Anim Sequence, and Pose Asset in the same way as before. The reason this pose anim sequence does not work properly is because the skeleton of the pose asset has not been redefined yet. If the skeleton is not properly redefined, anim sequence or anim blueprint will not work properly. Before defining the pose asset skeleton, Let's first temporarily disable the post-process anim blueprint of the skeletal mesh to be safe. If pose anim sequence does not work, disable post anim blueprint for the skeletal mesh, then pose anim sequence will work. If the pose anim sequence works properly, you can set the skeletal of the pose asset and update the data of the pose anim sequence.
If the POSE asset is working properly, POST ANIM Blueprint will now compile successfully without any errors. All right, now let's apply POST Process ANIM Blueprint to the skeletal mesh again. The important point here is that you must use the character specific POST Process ANIM Blueprint provided by Tuna. If you use the default template, strange results may occur due to the different angles of the joints. Now it's head's turn, as with the body before. Redefine the skeleton first. If there are more than two basic head skeletons exists like now, it is recommended to specify the skeleton in the common folder in the metahuman folder. Likewise, please redefine the skeleton in the head's post anim blueprint. If you want to check whether the DNA is being read successfully, Go to the Animation tab and check whether the AR face animation is displayed properly. If the animation does not load properly here, you can force load the DNA file provided in the template into the head skeletal mesh. Now let's put our character blueprint on a level to make sure it's working properly. Hmm, it seemed like everything was loaded successfully. All right, today, we shared how to transfer Unreal Project characters received from Tuna Rig to another project. See you again next time.